Okay, welcome back to another centripetal force problem. So today we have a school bus with a mass of 700 kilograms and is making a turn with a radius of 25 meters on a flat curve. Now the roads are icy, so the coefficient of friction between the bus and the road is 0 0.3, very low. And we want to know what the maximum velocity that the bus can make this turn without crashing. So any problem, let's start out writing what we know. Well, we're told that here that the mass is 700 kilograms. The radius is 25 meters. And the coefficient of friction is 0 0.3. And what we're trying to find is we want to know what is the velocity? Okay. Well, this is a centripetal force problem. So let's always start out with knowing that the magnitude of the centripetal force has to be equal to mass times velocity squared divided by the radius. And as we said previously, the centripetal force is not its own force there has to be some force providing that centripetal force. In this case, that force is going to be the force of static friction. And the force of static friction is given by this equation, the normal force, times the coefficient of static friction. Now, I know the coefficient of static friction. What I don't know, though, is I don't know the normal force. So I gotta add that to the list of things I need to figure out. And can I find a normal force? Of course. Newton's second law. So we're on a flat curve. So let me draw a school bus here. Let me draw the free body diagram for a school bus. Don't expect a perfect square. That's gonna be a bus. And for a bus. And we know there's two forces acting on it, at least in the y direction. We have the force of gravity, in which we call the weight. And the normal force. Normal force is the force that the surface must exert on the bus, in this case, the road, to support it. So it's super easy for people to assume that the normal force is equal to the gravitational force. Now, in this case, that is the case, but that is not always the case. Always use Newton's second law. We have laws, we live in society, a universe with laws, let's use some. So to verify this, because again, this is not always going to be the case, we're going to go ahead and show that net force, Newton's second law, equals mass times acceleration. But we know that the acceleration is zero, right? There's no acceleration in the right direction or the horizontal direction. So we know that F net equals mass times zero, which is equals zero. But what is this F net equal to? What is this equal to? Well, the net force is the normal force minus the gravitational force. I'm going to go ahead and write that again. The gravitational force, which is m times g, equals 0. So by advanced mathematics, I can add mg to this side. So fn equals mg. OK, we proved it. So then I have the mass, and we know on Earth, we live on Earth, g is always 9.8 meters per second squared. And we're going to take g to be positive just because it's no force. You know, it's opposite and equal by Newton's third law. So this is equal then to. The normal force is equal to 700 times 9.8.
perfect. But before we do any math, let's go ahead and write the equation. So centripetal force is the force of friction, which is we said the force of friction is let me use different colors so we can start distinguishing. F well that's a bad F. And use of S. And that force has to be equal to R. Well, Fn is mg. Look at this. The masses cancel out on both sides. And therefore, that leaves us with g mu sub s equals v squared over r. I'm going to go ahead and solve for v v squared equals r times g mu sub s. So v equals the square root of r times g times mu sub s. Alrighty, that means then, then, I'm going to go ahead and come over here, I'm running out of space on my whiteboard. That v equals square root of 25 times 9.8 times the coefficient of friction. The v equals the square root then of 73.5. This equals then Square root of 73.5 is 8.57 meters per second. And we're going to highlight this to show that as our answer. So this means that the max velocity that this bus can make that turn is 8.57 meters per second. If it would go any faster, the bus would fly off the turn and not make it. And this is why when you're driving on the highway and you see the max speed for a turn, let's, let's say 20 miles per hour, that's the max speed you can go. And that's assuming it's ideal conditions. I see people all the time when I'm driving in the winter in the great city of Chicago when people drive in the winter, they assume they can go the same speed as the max speed or greater, and then they, the car ends up in the ditch because they couldn't make that turn. So always use physics to your advantage. Never go greater than the max speed.